So they called the divisional commander, Adamu Seru, who came with a convoy, went around and picked almost all the dead bodies. We didn't even know their number till the commander came and led us to move around and pick the dead bodies. There were totally up to eight people at one community. And this thing is something that the community as well as Kosak is disappointed in the military. None of them, they can t testify that as they killed Mr. A or Mr. B, this is the weapon they picked from him. None of them among the eight people, to the extent of shooting an innocent woman at the arm, he is still under uh, treatment at the uh, Bologa Hospital. And we are crying for the right agencies to take this matter up because this is not their first time and we believe this will not be their last time. We are not happy and we are crying for the entire Ghanaians to hear this thing. If Ghanaians are fed up with us, we are also crying for the, the foreign aid to come in and see how this matter can be resolved and then this uh, military can also be put into the right direction. Myself, I don't know whether it was the God that saved me or they were the people that saved me. I, wouldn't, I don't know, I would have even been alive to speak to uh, the media station. A young lady called Aisha from Sungu, then he called me to come and rescue the innocent boy. I picked my basket from my house, running to go and see how I can rescue this innocent boy. I went and met these military people with their ammo car on the way before the house. Then they blocked me. And a lot of questions in that process of exchanging words and then answering their questions, remove that bullet that hit, uh, the, the, the gun picked, and then now turn the gun itself as a stick to use on me. They use that gun to hit on my head, hit my hand. They beat me to the extent that they want. And my head, I think you can see. Another victim, Ali Bukhari, said he was rescued by the police and has since been on admission at the Vineyard Hospital. When I noticed people rushing, I was still working in my garden, planting tomato and onion seedlings. They informed me that the military was after them when I asked. I reasoned that they would pursue me if I ran, and that if I didn't, they would attack me. I had the bright notion to climb the tree in front of me right away. I observed the military men running past and everything that they accomplished in the neighborhood. Later, the police were brought in to clean up the mess by the military. One of them discharged a rifle near me on the way back. I trembled and fell from the tree. They attacked me, hit me, and yelled at me to bring my weapons out. I was saved because I insisted I had no gun and was working in my garden. They followed me to the place I was working and believed what I had to say. After a couple more beatings, they turned me over to the police. Meanwhile, the youth in Boku have rejected the explanation from the military high command, demanding the immediate replacements of the entire military team. Oh! 